Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 homebrew. It, uh, it, um, it's true. It's true. <laughs> That's what he said <laughs> when, we were, when he was on mute. And we've got Atari on the floor. His head is in the cat cam, so therefore it qualifies as a cat cam. Yes, that's right. We've got a bowl of nuts. Yes. There are no peanuts in it, as opposed to, I think somebody said there's peanuts. Prepare the peanuts, D-Train says. <laughs> Just no. Fix it in post. Nah. Not that I, I'm opposed to get, peanuts. I the love of peanuts, but they just don't come in this mix, and I'm no. fine with that. I'm going to leave the blankness in the post. It's too much of a pain. And he has to edit that out, because I have to export the whole video again. Yeah, too much trouble. Um, we've got four games today. Two of them are the same game, but updated, which is Plum Luck and Plum Luck DX, mm. which I'm guessing stands for Deluxe. Deluxe. Mm -hmm. Any other words that has DX in them? No. That's like, sounds a bit like Un-X. 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 D X D X D X as in D like unxing something. That's right, unx. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, yeah, stretch. It's a stretch, but it works. Uh, we're also going to be playing uh, bonk, which is actually spelled B apostrophe um, asterisk N Q, but the uh, developer spelled it out B O N Q when he typed it out for a file. Because you can't use an asterisk mm -hmm. as a file name because yep. it's a wild card. So you can say bonk. Um, and in uh, it's a Qbert port ah. for the 7800. It's 7800 day today. Yeah, good luck searching, Star. Um, <laughs> and we're going to be playing Armor Attack 2 as well, the 7800. And that's by Pac-Man Plus. We're slowly making our way through Pac-Man Plus's back catalog mm. because he has so many awesome games. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who support the show, whose names are scrolling down. Darcy's uh, right, I guess, to you, his his left, your right. I mean, they're really just going like this. They're not back and forth. But. No, no, just one way, one direction. One way. Uh, 8 Bit Swami, Alna Fur, Armscar Coder, Atari Age, 06502, Bomberman, Pierre Pocock, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, Charles and Check, Charles Whelan, Chive, Coconut Deanoid, Dan, Dan, Dale, Andrew Darling, Dan ABC, Dr. Moo Cows, Emu Dan, Fat Beavis, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Ice Post, Dejetikai, Johnny WC, Carl G. Croco, Mark's Basic, Metal Atari, Mike Soul, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnaroop, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Nostalgic, Pack Rack, Quahog, RC70, Rendered Ghost for Pentless VG, Ricardo Bim, R. Siddle, Smitty B7800, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Welsh Man, Tiggy Dan K, Timothy Lamphier, Trek MD, X Ken X. You're looking at. It's looking well, at I just himself, clicked the, the side of his head. I clicked the. <laughs> I clicked the subscribe button. Oh, it doesn't like you. It's because you're not on this list. He's Drexel when he is on the list. It worked. No, I just did that. You gotta press share. Oh, you have to share it. Mm -hmm. So you can secretly subscribe. Apparently, if oh, you don't click share, that's it does it, maybe that's what has been douching uh, me the whole time. Okay, uh, I've if, been douching me. If you want to be on the list, like <laughs> Drexel here, will be next. Time. Will be red next time. <laughs> um, it's free with Amazon Prime, so just link up your Amazon Prime to Twitch and get your name and subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, mail news and feedback. Um. Uh, the dragonfly carts are no longer available. They're gone. So if you missed out on them, they're gone for a non-determinate amount of time. Hmm. RJ1307 uh, posted Wednesday. It says Wednesday. I would like to clarify I'm not a producer of the Pokemax because he did run out of Pokemax chips as well before that. So he was just leaving them out. Um, and I have no influence on availability. Uh, Cortex M4 systems that are used there are four times more expensive. Yeah, there is another Pokemax version 3 or something that's like $100, which mm. would just make the price of the Pokemaxes go through the roof. Um, it's unknown if and when Pokemax will be reproduced. Unfortunately, I also have a problem with the availability of parts. As of today, Dragonfly cartridges are not available. So if you missed out, oh, plus card is not available now too. It's I, I, it's all the chip shortages. Yep, um, it's crazy. 
Yeah, they. I didn't think they were endangered either, but I I treat every piece of hardware that's released for retro gaming, especially mm. as precious and could yeah, run out only at time. any yeah, yeah. second. Yep. Because it's all independently produced. It's just usually made by one, maybe two people. Uh, and, you know, they're not a store. They're not a company. They're just a, yeah, yeah. Just a guy And the one thing you know is that it's available now. Yeah. And the other thing you know is that it won't be forever. Yep. They always run out at a certain point. Yeah. I always jump on them. But there's the danger of jumping too early on them. Mm -hmm. Because then you get, oh, there's hardware issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like, uh should I buy it immediately or should I wait a little bit? Usually I buy it immediately. Um, so that is really unfortunate about that. Dragonfly is extremely compatible. It's what I've been using as my That's daily driver. Yeah, I got it in purple. Um, you guys can see it in the cat cam there in the 7800. I like that it has a little uh, screen. <sighs> You I'm don't. I can tell from your side. <laughs> I know, Darts. That your it's your opinion cool. is. It's cool, but I like ignorant. the on-screen menu better. Because oh, sure. that only has eight um, mm. displays and doesn't scroll. So I'm like, ah. So I like the existence of the screen. You know, I don't know what it does. Yeah. I mean, it's instead it's just of an kind on-screen of like, menu. It's like... It used to be that you had to have little screens like that for whatever, but now you don't. And so it's <laughs> yeah. just kind of, it's like... It's very retro. It's just kind of exciting. Yeah, yeah it kind of fits with the, the whole thing, the little tiny screen. Um, in better news, uh, Champ Games posted their updated release schedule for their games uh, that are coming out. Uh, Robot War 2684, September 2021, which is now... Um, so we'll see, we'll see if that comes out in the next little bit. Um, cause I, uh, I don't know if there's a big glut of games coming out soon. Um, but he has released some games through, uh, uh, binary ROM downloads, but it's usually after releasing it on cartridge and box through Atari age. So we will see if there's a big surprise announcement dump of games coming soon from Atari mm -hmm. Age. Or it might be just Robot War, individually. Uh, Ladybug Arcade, which is his update to Ladybug, uh, December 2021. Gorf Arcade, around March 2022. Turbo Arcade, August uh, 2022 at PRGE. And Kicks, December 2022. So lots of games from Champ Games coming up. Spaced out all nicely. Uh, I'll make sure to keep up on these updates as the release dates will most likely change <laughs> as they're dependent on many factors outside of Champ Games and Atari Ages Control. Like the thing we just talked mm -hmm. about. No, um, yeah. Supply issues. They have yep. to get boxes printed. You have to make sure everything's spelled correctly. The, you know, you get the manuals done. They come back the wrong color or something. Hobbyists will probably be the last to overcome the shortage. Yeah, They don't have the buying power of the big companies. It's going to mm -hmm. go to like NVIDIA graphics cards first. So people can mine oh, that crypto. Mm -hmm. Whoever has the, <laughs> the big money. Who's ever willing to pay more. Right? Yeah. I'm horrible at Robotron type games. I've gotten better. I was terrible, but now playing Robotron on the 2600, I've gotten a lot better. And I like them a lot more too. The twin stick games where one for movement, one for shooting. Mm -hmm. It takes a little bit to wrap your head around that. Um, but I got more of the hang of it. I cannot believe that guy is finishing off three games a year. He is a machine. And they're all <laughs> like top quality games too. It is unbelievable. Uh, just not coordinated enough to use both controllers independently as needed. As that's really on the way to get far in those games. That's true. But he does uh, give you an option to use one joystick and like uh, multiple schemes to like fire, like strafing. Mm -hmm. And then you change directions, then you strafe in the other direction. So yeah. Where's Champ Sports Baseball? That's a good question. That is not on the roster. The thing is, if here. you had them on thumbsticks, your oh. brain would be able to handle it better. Yeah, yeah. Which doesn't make the sense. But... Because, probably because the joysticks are further apart, and I don't know. We're just used to it. I'm sued Dar Darcy's eating hardware chips, contributing to the mm -hmm. shortage. Darcy! I only eat... How could you? The most, the like the densest nutrition, right? <laughs> um, it's long... Sufficiency. It's long since been established that 
silicone mm. is the best food <laughs> for robots. It's easier um, to digest when it's been converted into tiny transistors. Phaser Cat Game says my last fifty two hundred game supports twin sticks, but I'm not. It's not great with analog controllers. Which is which? Which game was the twin sticks? <laughs> um, shortages affecting us in the retro, many of us in the retro world. Yeah. Um. Okay. So that's all the news. Um. So hopefully PRG twenty twenty two will happen next year because mm -hmm. i'm looking forward to going back again because 2019 was the last one and meeting up with john and all the other developers and all the other everybody retro a atari enthusiasts as well yep. saying hi i'm sure they'll recognize me maybe well at least the watchers of the show <laughs> so you'll have to come up to me because i don't know what you look like most of you some of you do i do um so don't be afraid of coming up to me. Except uh, for the last one I've got reserved for James. Oh, that's so nice. That's the thing that nice. I showed you in the box mm. that I'm saying to him. Not the bad one, the good one, actually. There's a good one in there. So he's using, using the bad one to... The bad Intellivision for this size. This is fit in the box, make the box. <laughs> yeah. Um, Are they the same size? Yes, they're exactly the same model. So, first game up we have today... Mm -hmm is Plum Luck by Smitty B. Uh, this is from, this is a, his original one. Uh, we're going to be playing the deluxe version in a bit. This one's from 2017. Um, so we're going to take a look at what the first game that I could find, there might be earlier games, um, that this came from, at least. Uh, at least the ones that has plumbing. There might have been train ones before this, but... Let's take a look at this one. This one's called Pipe Mania, and this was for the Amiga. Oh, the resolution is trash. Well, let's at least go up to 480p. Well, that's much better. Um, so the Plum Luck is a port of Pipe Mania, or at least a port of the style of Pipe Mania. Um, Pipe Mania is a puzzle game developed by the assembly line for the Amiga. Well, let's kind of get to the... Why isn't it so far away from the gameplay? There we go. So, as you can maybe guess, um, you have um. to make pipes and mm -hmm. join things up and make a start and a finish and then water goes through it. Why are you trying to get to the end on this one? Please don't do that, cat. Don't do that. Nope! Psst. Back cat. I don't see the end. See where they're taking it. Do you have to get it to him? Do you have to get it to. Uh, let's see, we'll, we'll let it play. Um, published in 1989, it was ported to several other platforms by Lucas Games as Pipe Dream, the company distributed game in the US. Uh, the player must connect randomly appearing pieces of pipe on a grid to a given length within a time limit. Uh. Okay. So you only need to make to a certain length, and then you're good. Well, Hopefully they made the length because it's going off screen. Um, the Windows version of the game was included with MS Windows Entertainment Pack. Um, in 1990, it was released as an arcade game by Japanese manufacturer Video Systems, though with slightly altered gameplay. Um, yeah, so that's that's the game. Fairly uh, simple to understand how to play. Mm. It doesn't use proper fluid mechanics. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't. That's true. That's funny. Oh, da, da, da. I guess I made it. Maybe you have to make it to the top? I don't know. No, a certain length. Yeah. In this one, at least. Yeah, that's what the instructions say. Okay. So, um, let's load it up and take a look, and I'll read the instructions out. I think we're all ready. So, let's switch over to the 7800. You guys can see it, but we can't yet. So, Plum Luck. Surprise release! Plum Luck is a side project I've been working on uh, that I've happened to finish first because of its simplicity. The difficulty is not particularly well balanced. There's no audio at the moment. This is his first release for the not, not audio. Oh, different uh, skill levels. Uh, cat. Expert, normal simple sandbox he's got sandbox. trouble oh to make things 
Um, what about normal? I want to randomize the start end tile location, so at some point, as well as obstacle tiles, you initially get 30 seconds before the slime starts running through the pipes, but a second is deducted for each stage, down to a minimum of 5 seconds. You can freely place tiles over any other tile as long as the slime has not reached it yet. Enjoy! Controls! Directions, move cursor. Button 1 speeds up the cursor and starts the game. Button 2 places the leftmost tile in the next queue uh, at the current cursor location. Pause, pauses the game, select, skips the delay before the start. slime starts coming out of the pipes. Hold to speed up the slime and release to resume oh, at normal speed. That's not good. Well, I think it starts in the left. Mm -hmm, that's out. why I, my piece that I placed is uh, particularly bad. Is it, what was the first piece on the board? No, it's coming yeah. out of there. You're already dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dead. I think I press a button to continue. There you go. Um, HUD, high score. Your highest score so far. Scores are not saved when the console is turned off. Turn it up a little bit here. Score your current score up to a maximum of 999. Next, the next four tiles you can place in order from left to right. So you get a preview of the tiles coming up. Stage. Uh, the number of X marks indicate the number of stages you've completed up to 20. Oh, so those blank areas. Oh, they're saying Pixel just wanted to help press reset. Hey, were you trying to help? No, he doesn't know. Am I not destroying the couch? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing it wrong. Well, you're doing it better. You need a corner piece. Oh, oh, you got 10. Score of 10. So scoring, slime moves through an additional pipe section, one point. The stage is complete, the slime runs down the drain, 10 points. I think you have to get it to the opposite side. Um, right beside where it says stage. Yeah, so you can discard pieces. Um, uh, as of the 2nd July release, you now get zero points completion bonus for simple mode. Are you in simple mode? Are you simple? I'm very simple. <laughs> I think you can discard on top of another piece. So you don't have to move around. Death. Death. Uh, new release, July 2nd. This time with 20 different maps and some basic sound effects, which we can hear now. Uh, the sandbox mode gives you an empty map with no time limit to play around with. Uh, okay. And then I guess you manually started going. Oh, we didn't say who was in the chat. Uh, we'll do that after this game. But I can see Crossbow, D-Train, S. Ramirez, Al Nefer, Dr. Mookhouse, who subscribed just before the show. Darcy just subscribed during the show. Honestly, there seems to be like... The same ones coming up over and over. You need and over to again. place some tiles at the beginning. You're gonna die. Yeah, because there's nothing. There's literally nothing come up that even goes that direction. You need to place two up there. Two of them already. It's true. I could have done that. <laughs> Just start discarding. Just go blah 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 until you get those two that are coming up. I've been discarding, and then you were talking to me and telling me I was doing it wrong, <laughs> and I was like, Oh no, I'm doing it wrong! <laughs> oh, you're almost there. Hey, you're there we go. But it is also good to place useful tiles. Uh, oh, is it? To, <laughs> where they're supposed to be. Because you do have to build it out. Um, simple, normal, expert cycles through the 20 maps, with the 20th being the bonus map that's already completed just to give you free points. Simple mode gives you a 60 second time slime delay and no bonus points. Normal mode gives you 30 second time delay and 10 bonus points. Expert mode gives you 30 second slime de delay and 20 bonus points, but the slime flows twice as fast once it appears. Uh, I've tested the maps and completed each of them on expert mode. Wow. Uh, 874 points. I don't intend to oh, update this Oh, you can't get further. out now. <laughs> That's right, I win. 
<laughs> it's stuck forever. I stopped the slime from escaping. <laughs> I think you That's want... That's the goal, right? No, you want the slime to escape. Yeah. You want it to put it down the drain. Seems like that spot there. Um, I'll make an approved version in the future if things are that definitely need changing. Uh, I don't intend to update this further as it was always a side project to my dungeon crawler. And I don't want this to be a big distraction, so please enjoy. Can't wait to get Champ Games Baseball, Esther Mary says. Yes, I can. Darcy is ready for expert mode. Uh, do you agree with that statement? No. <laughs> I think he needs to complete at least one level first before taking on that expert mode. So, I had a grievous head wound the other day. Yeah? Yeah. On, um... Monday, Monday night, I slammed my head into the corner of that cupboard above the TV. So I had it open because I was messing around with stuff. And I stood up really quick and smacked. Yay! Smacked my head into it. Right? I don't know if you can see the little red mark right there. I can see blood. I can see the stitches. <laughs> There's no stitches. Looks um, like stitches. <laughs> Excellent. Good. <laughs> um, uh, blood was running down my face. Both sides? Yeah. That's a trick. Yeah, it was... Because I, cause I had my hand over it. Uh, so it was just going, like, everywhere. Down everywhere my hand was, like, covered in blood. Did it get in your eyes? Um, no, because I was able to make it to the sink and kind of... Oh! You made it! Yay! You got an X! 21 points! Alright. Let's go for the next stage. Next map. But what oh. about the bloodbath story? I'll continue. Um, so I went to the... I already told this story on Tuesday, but I'll reiterate for Darcy. I went to the bathroom and hung my head over the sink with my hand over it, trying to quell the flow. Um, head wounds... Are crazy fast bleeders and they bleed a lot and apparently are hard to coagulate the blood um, so it looked like just like somebody attacked me with a knife to my head and so I called for Tanya um, apparently not urgently enough at first <laughs> she's like yeah I'll be there in a minute I'm like, <laughs> And I just, no, I'm dying! <laughs> I should have I'm said dying! That. I should have over exaggerated, but really it was wouldn't be an exaggerated. I'm bleeding everywhere, I should have said. Mm -hmm. But I just called her name. Oh, I think I... I was a bit stunned at what was happening <laughs> to me. And on the verge of fainting. Oh, that's a way to do it. Just kinda slam slime slime till you get the right piece. And if you have time, you can kinda build out and get more points, but if you're just going for levels, like I usually do. This is cool, but I'm looking forward to his dungeon crawler. His dungeon crawler is quite extensive. I haven't played that in a while. Um, but we did finish it. It took four hours, I think. <laughs> finish it to the point that he had done it at that point. Um, Tanya came downstairs, put a towel with a paper towel on it. We had no gauze. Um, I had to go lay on the bed because I was fainting. Yay! Stage two, you are getting better. You are ready for expert. I'm so good. <laughs> Everybody says I'm good. Everyone's like, he's good. He's good at that. <laughs> he's good at he's that. He's good at that game. Um, I got, I ble did bleed on the carpet. Uh, like what? Four, four drops. That's why you weren't worried about the coffee earlier. <laughs> he was acting... He was acting uncharacteristically, like, flip with a box. He's like, wah, 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 I'm flipping this box, use this box, <laughs> all near my coffee. And I was like, do not spill my coffee, because <laughs> I know I will be blamed for it. That's a, quite a turnaround, him telling me to be careful to not spill the coffee. That's right. Usually it's me telling that's, everyone. That's, it was very uncharacteristic of him. And obviously he's like, oh, no, I've already ruined the carpet. It's got, <laughs> it's got my DNA evidence got on it. It's blood gross. everywhere. Bah. 
Uh, <laughs> but I had to get out the uh, carpet cleaner to clean the blood off the carpet. Did it work? Yeah, it did. Um, I was wearing a white t-shirt at the time, and I didn't get one drop of blood on my white t-shirt. It was unbelievable. I'm surprised they didn't make it so you had to put the piece somewhere. Uh, yeah, I also think maybe they should do that. Because you just go did it did it did till you get the right piece. You That's don't right. lose points. There's uh, no penalty. All they would have to do is just go make it so you lose points. If you put one on top of the other one, yeah. Bleeding the carpet might work better. I'm not sure. I like that you can brute force it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so let's try the... I'm not sure that I like you pointing out that I actually haven't gotten good at this game and that I am just brute forcing it. Right, you can speed it up with the select. Okay, it's my turn. You're too good at this. So good! Shh! Dr. Mukows, <laughs> Dr. Mukows, you just zip it. So you just go like this. And then I might as well use that one there. It's doing a cross here. Um, I don't like that piece. There we go. And let's do it up here. Over here. There. So this is why you should get points um, lost for... Oh, even if yeah. it's not much, it doesn't even have to be punishing. It can just be like... You know, or time out in the bad box. It's like, I'm just waiting for a straight piece. If nothing else, just you can't put a piece where there was already a piece. Because you can't do this. Like. <laughs> like. Because the only piece I'm looking and for. And then you have is to just keep finding blank spaces in, to, yeah. to, to put it. And then. Um, um, See, I've got a bot. The bot's me. <laughs> That's funny. I can't believe that you sold out. <laughs> you sold out to the bots. I know. I've sold my soul to the bots. Okay, let's go to expert. <laughs> yeah, this or was no. simple. Actually, this was simple mode. Because I, I was not having any luck with normal this is mode. simple. <laughs> I, oh. I didn't make a big fanfare of it because I didn't want everyone to know. How do you reset? We can't. Uh, well, you would have had it right there because you had just lost. Oh. <laughs> and you could have pressed the button. So you tried normal. I tried normal. I hadn't figured out how to get it done quick enough. Normal. Because really, this is going to be the fastest way to do this. I don't know how it could be any faster than just... Oops. No. At least you can correct. Maybe he did it that for that reason. To so go on top. Because it's like, oh, I made a mistake. And it's literally game oh, over. Oh, no. That's definitely that's definitely uh, why. Um, but you could you could fix it by just having, like, oh, yeah, a yeah. lost points or something. D-Train lives in um, the New York, uh, in New York, New York City area. Um and did you see that video of the water? No. Going down into the subway like a river of water. Wow. They shut down the whole subway system in New York because of the floods. Um, d -Train says, I had a little bit of leaking in my front room, so I had to have the landlord look at that. Then the subways were all goofy yesterday. <laughs> that's one way of putting it. So I didn't go into work. No power loss. No trees landed on the building. Oh, well, that's good. Plum luck speed runs. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, an inch an hour. Oops. Like it depends. Like, is it an inch in a bucket this narrow? I can pump that out. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but the whole subway system? No. <laughs> that would be. I think. I w I would have thought at the time at least that that was over engineering. Like, is there a faster way to play this than this? I just don't see it. Oops. Yeah. 
I, 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 the, the thing is, what the hell? Uh, before I started doing this, yeah, I was like. I was not sure how it was possible to get the pieces you wanted on time because it was like, I just like you barely... were doing a lot of like, doo -doo -doo -doo, you know, like I do, I do think the game should be about making do with what you have, but yes. it's not the way it is now. It was quite difficult to make do with what you have. Like probably I just had to be a lot quicker on the decision making. That's really all. Quite possibly, yeah. But when it comes to this stuff, I don't know. You don't. You can't just make do with what you have. There's no room. You have to go straight down there. Yeah, you could go around one side or the other, but you know. I guess that's the sort of thing that we would figure out how to do if we had to, but we don't, so we won't. <laughs> that's right. You forced us to play this way. <laughs> it's your fault, not ours. <laughs> it's a bucket the size of New York City. <laughs> a bucket the size of New York City. That's a good way of putting it. Okay. So later, D train. Slowing down the ability to switch for force. Yes, that too. Yes, yes. Like slowing, you slowing. Um, placement. Like just having, yeah, like a penalty when you place a piece over Goes, a eh, piece, and you can't. Like move. it's only slow when it's not a fresh place. Yeah. But it, it's like you get like a like a a recharge delay. Yep. It's, you have to wait if a bit. you're replacing a piece. That would be good. I okay. don't know. If, I don't know what the original game was like, and so you don't want to be too different, right? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Uh, Phaser Cat Game says it looks like you get more points for a longer pipe, and you, so that's relevant. You do, but I was playing. Oh, here's the new one, Plum Luck Two. Has well, yeah, a, I almost didn't you, notice that. Well, so how do you pick the game? You beautiful do, title screen. Um, and the buttons. The buttons work the directories. There's mm -hmm. like left, right, up, <clears throat> and enter. So you can go up a directory, through a directory. Or pick a directory or a file. So those are the things. Oh, this is deluxe. This is the deluxe. This is the version DX now. version. Yep, the DX. <laughs> we I don't see any X's. I don't see any X's. So that's true. So beautiful title screen. Oh, yeah. he's going underwater. He's lost. Blurp, blurp, blurp. So look at the background now. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, look at those pipes. Yeah, it's got some animation. Pipes. You've got the time before the pipe starts going. The pipes are nice, much, much uh, cleaner. So definitely a more deluxe version. So this was uh, first posted August 22nd, 2021. Um, he says, this is it. You've landed the biggest contract you've ever seen and you're gonna need it if your small plumbing business is to survive. Uh, what you didn't know before you signed, however, is that many others have been hired and fired during the construction of this toxic waste facility. So you need to contend with their leftover piping. And to make matters worse, the pumps will be turned on today whether the work is finished or not. Delays are unacceptable. Oh, it's got the music now. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. If you're going to be complete... If you're going to complete what was started, claim your payment and avoid an environmental <clears throat> disaster. It's going to take all your skills, quick thinking, and sheer plum luck. Ah, uh, 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 it's good. The joke is still working. <laughs> still a lot of gray. Still a lot of gray. Yeah. Somebody's not so happy with the gray. Oh, it gets more urgent mm -hmm. as it gets closer. Very nice. That's good. That's good. You always want a little terror. Carl G says, I definitely like the looks of the newer version. Mm. Oh, it auto starts the next uh, level. Oh my, that There's is... no pause this time. That is what do you, how you say brutal. Yep. Oh yeah. So, Plum Lux DX is a follow-up uh, remake to the, of, of the second first finished of my sec of my 7800 Projects Plum Luck from 2017. In a way, it's really a game I wanted to make back then, but couldn't because I wasn't anywhere near as familiar with the system as I am now. And this is why in-game it's only called Plum Luck rather than Plum Luck DX. It exclusively uses the 320B mode for high-res graphics. An extra RAM on the cart to allow far more frames of animation than would be possible without. Because he's got animation of the placement, uh, animation and very shininess of the slime coming animation of the background too um 
The aim of the game is to prevent the toxic slime from spilling by placing pipes to create a path from the pipe to the drain. And now he's got a drain, too, rather than just another end piece. Uh, it's not as simple as it sounds, though, as you won't always get the pipes you want. The path to the drain won't always be clear, and you'll want to build the longest path you can for most points. Oh, you're not, you're not actually care. getting any points. <laughs> He hasn't implemented I points yet. I don't care about points <laughs> as much as you do, you <laughs> point person. I'm not the point person. I'm the level person. No, I, was, I was, wasn't I was actually talking oh. to you. But there is no points yet implemented. Your score is zero. Um, All your hard work I'm is for nothing. I'm not sure if that's entirely true. I saw that. Oh. You still and I'm not points. sure. Yeah, but you get the points when you complete it, maybe, uh, and then they go away, like you can't see them. Okay, I'll watch when the slime comes out. Yeah, really does look like NES Pipe Dream. Looks good. Yeah, I do have. Do I have Pipe Dream? I am certain I have Pipe Dream. There's. Oh, there it is, actually. So I do like this game. There you go. Uh, no, no. Oh, no. you oh. gotta run. Pipe Dream for the NES. I apparently bought it for ten dollars. It's still got the sticker on it. I think maybe this is oh the boy. intended. Uh... You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, having less belief in you. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, well, you had it. Oh, balls. So three more. There you go. Find some ups. The pieces are not as easily identifiable on this one to quickly smash through. Oh, I think he might make it. He might make it, folks. No, I'm not gonna make it. He's my slowing down. Oh. Yes. No. No. Two more. Three more. No. 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 There you go. One more. You just need to get it. What? Oh, oh you're it was right there away. too. Oh well. I don't see any points though, so yeah, there was no points. No point. No points. You get Boo! to do it over. So, um, here you go. Read this onward. Let's see if I can catch Basically, up. Basically, part of my brain was thinking about you guys and what <laughs> and what you were saying what instead of I trying saying? to get the pipe. And Oops. then I had to look back at the screen and figure out which one I was after. Sorry, where am I reading from? Oh God. Um, oh, you're doing the same one I did. Ah. Yeah, I guess it lets you redo it until cool. you get it in this version. Yeah, I mean, like, in lieu of points. Oh, yeah. It's just levels. Straight up levels. Um, oh, God. Okay. From the top? No. From uh, the middle of the page, pretty much. From there. That paragraph. This 22nd August build is fairly bare bones, but I wanted to have something posted while I work on the rest of it. At present, there is only a single empty level which represents winning. This is from August 22nd, uh, which represents winning or losing. The level counter just shows a debug value of the title of the tile number, and the score counter does nothing. This title screen graphic. The title screen graphics will eventually be given a layer of polish. I should be able to fit some extra background graphics in. I'm already pushing the graphics limit of 128K cartridge thanks to the 320-bit format. And I'll throw in a few Atari Vox phrases where I can because you can never go wrong with more Atari Vox support. Oh, does it act? Did it? Does it have Atari Vox support or he's going to put... That was okay. August 22nd. Okay. And now I'm going to say the August 25th <laughs> entry. Okay. Because that wasn't quite... Uh, there anyways because it was saying there was only one screen and there's obviously more than one screen. Uh, I've discovered you can hold down the button to scroll through the pieces. Uh, so you don't have to slam it. Oh, what is, what is, what is, what is happening here? I can't, oh, I think we've hit the limit. <laughs> there's like some pieces already on the board. That's funny. And everything's closed I off. I played a lot of <laughs> the Windows 3 version of Pipe Dream back in the day, which is why I have the gray and green color scheme over the more colorful Amiga original Pipe Mania. I put my own spin on it by requiring you to reach a drain tile rather than just having a pipe of a given length. But unbeknownst to me, at the time there was a Pipe Dream arcade game that did the same thing. The NES Pipe Dream has eight frames of animation per tile, like my previous version of the 
of plum lock. So while I don't have special tiles, it is a little smoother looking. September 1st, another small update because I'm not sure when I'll be free to work oh, on this over oh, the next couple of weeks. Oh, it went past it. Nice. Okay, I'm able to play again. <laughs> I found that I'm pushing the limits of frame timings a bit, which is why I was getting the yellow screen of death in that earlier build and a few places while making changes to this one. I haven't started optimizing the code yet, so once I do that, it should be more stable. Changes in this build. Added a brief credit screen. Added fade-ins for the title screen and game screen. Slightly altered the slime graphics on the title screen. Now there are seven levels to go through, and they loop once you beat the seventh. Uh, the select switch acts as a level skip for the testing purposes. The title, selection is no the title selection is no longer completely random, and replaced with a pseudo-random system where the tiles will only appear four times until every other tile has appeared four times too. I might reduce this limit to three or two depending on testing. Yeah, let's let it go. I don't know. Um, uh, where did you go? All the way to the end? Okay, you're done. Done! All it needs is more score digits. <laughs> <laughs> A couple more. Like, you could extend that bar all the way to the edges. <laughs> or you Get could it. just, instead of spelling out score, you could just Chop put it. S. Yeah. S uh, colon. Right. Save a lot of space with and that. Oh, L colon. Again. And you would have a lot more uh, score ability. Screw it again. <laughs> it it was a level like this before, mm -hmm. and then I died on it, and it just skipped to a level I could actually play. So it's a little bit of a bug there. Um, so I'll wait. Did it say select skips it? Pressing select. Uh, yeah, I, I think it select moves it to the next um, level. Oh. This is not. I don't know. No. Oh, there we go. No. Now that is level six you're on now. And uh, there, level seven is a thing. Level six was the same as level five. It's... Okay. This is new, I think. It is. Or is this the first one? Oh my no, god! I think this is straight pieces. I think this is uh, new. Okay. Yeah, actually. This version seems, for whatever reason, it seems like it works as intended. Yeah, that you it should, does. That you should go through to try and find the thing, and that it's like it's still a speed thing. You don't know what's going to come up. And... It, it feels right yeah. <laughs> doing this now. I don't, I don't know, know what, what I don't I, know what the difference is, but it, there's a difference. Yeah, I have no idea why it feels that way, but it just does. Because this would be a, a straight up nightmare any other way playing it. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's. Oh my god. I oh, you started, started the, the wrong one. <laughs> oh <laughs> my <funny>. god. <laughs> You're doing so well, too. <laughs> it was. Oh, this is the first level again. Yes. Level it's zero. looped around. It says eight. Oh, it kind and of it would does? be eight. It would be eight. That's a funny eight. But it, it is, is an eight. It's not a zero, is all I can say. Or it's not the same as the other zeros. It could have two different zeros. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it could. It's the other zero. All of the many zeros on the page are one way, but that one last one in level is a different way. Because reasons. <laughs> all the reasons. Ah! Look. It doesn't seem ra very random. I think it doesn't like giving Random you... is... Exactly when you think it doesn't look random, <laughs> that's when it's random. <laughs> I'll just finish this level because I didn't get to play this one. I think you did? Yeah. Yeah, I played this level all, and it was such a, a special and engaging level. He could use the second button to speed it up, like to. Oh, yeah. Rather than going to the uh, console. Because the second button doesn't do anything, right? From the out of tune tones, I'm guessing he's not using Pokey. He's using the TIA. Still works. Yeah. Or he's intentionally using uh, notes that are. Is True. that a copyrighted tune that you need to have the wrong notes on so that? It doesn't get... <laughs> I wonder if you could get away with that. It's it's like it's the tune. It's recognizable at the as the tune, but you're using the wrong notes for the tune. <laughs> 
So because, therefore, it's not that tune. Yeah, because I've seen in like court cases where they're debating yeah. whether you've infringed copyright, and they analyze the rhythm and the notes. Yeah. So if you're using the wrong notes, yeah. it's not the same song. Yeah, yeah. But it's still recognizable. That's funny. Okay, so that it's is... It's recognizable, but in a way that... <laughs> that makes people disappointed and sad and so True. it's not it's there's no damages <laughs> no damages awarded it just made people sad <laughs> so we're gonna we played um uh a port of cubert for the 2600 last week mm -hmm. because tanya doesn't like cubert yeah and we're playing the 7800 version two weeks ago but yeah two weeks ago yeah um of cubert that was made yeah. and this one is called bonk and it was made by ken siders who has uh sadly passed away uh in 2017 oh wow. yeah so he made bonk uh beef drop burger boy circle of richness uh the fish adventures of mr fish and pack munch jr for 7800 5208 bits all over the place um, so we're going to take a look at, um, this one at a label contest. So we're going to take a look at some of the labels. Just tried this on my DF. It looks and plays well. Um, which bonk or plum luck? I'm guessing he's plum, talking about plum luck. So here's the label contest for bonk. Actually, I'll change over the cartridge. There we go. Um, and I don't know when the last label contest that Atari Age had. They're pretty cool. Um, so they say what they want on the label approximately. It's like we need, you know, clear legible text, blah, blah, blah. Um, make it yourself. So, oh, look like somebody made some uh, <laughs> clay versions of it. That's very cool. Yeah. Uh, some awesome, some black and white ones. Oh, very creative. Oh, 3D kind of one. Some extruded. Oh, 3D and 2D. And 3D, 3D. Like put on your 3D glasses type 3D, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Um, yeah, they're all quite, oh, quite different. This one's like in a different kind of dimension. Oh, that's cool. Bonk in Flatland. Everything looks flat in that for some reason. So lots, oh, nice. I like that one. Mm. Kind of QB. Lots and lots and lots. And the winning one was this one by Darren Rose, which was very, very cool. And of course you see it on the screen because <laughs> I've already put up the cartridge. <laughs> um, so the label contest was held November, 2007. Um, so uh, let's get to the game now that we have all that. Boom, boom, boom. That should work. I'll grab a joystick. You know the drill. It's Cubert. So this game is, uh, this build was released 2019, um, but it was put on cartridge 2007, I believe. Um, it's a 48k game and very very nice looking it's got all the graphics of the arcade turn it up a little bit for you guys no that was, uh, that was poorly done <laughs> poorly done, poorly done. Uh, Ken's, uh, when it was first posted it was actually posted as an April Fool's joke saying that they found a Qbert prototype for the 7800 um, which wasn't true, but they actually posted the game and people were playing it and going, wow, this plays really well. It doesn't look like it needs much to finish it off. Anybody going to finish it? And so it fooled a bunch of people, but I don't think it fooled, um, as many people <laughs> as before, because sometimes they do actually, anytime there's a prototype released on April 1st, don't believe it. Um... So Ken Siders, fresh from his development of the Atari 5200 8-bit and 7800 versions of Beef Drop, a Burger Time port, has imparted, embarked on his next project, a port of popular arcade game Cubert. Originally revealed on April 1st, 2005, uh -oh. as an April Fool's joke. Oh, dead already. What the schnozzle? He does have a big one. 
Um, Ken has already made significant progress in the game. Gameplay-wise, no. Ken's rendition of Qbert plays pretty much as you would expect Qbert to. The most noticeable missing elements are the enemies beyond the red balls. Although this version was somewhat challenging due to the speed and frequency with, those balls do bounce towards you. Uh, the game already features a title screen as well as a level screen that appears before each wave of levels. Obviously, this is the finished version. Um, Cubert for the 7800 shows great potential and is following in the footsteps of some other wonderful 7800 arcade ports such as Food Fight. It's going for expert. Oof. Let's see. So you move a lot faster. And so do the enemies. The object of Bonk is to score as many points as possible by jumping on cubes, jumping on green objects, and luring the snake to his death. When all of the, which you just did. When all of the cubes have been challenged, uh, changed to the change two color, you advance to the next round. After every four rounds, you'll advance to the next level. Later levels require jumping on cubes multiple times. In this version, you don't have to wait for the snake to get to you as much. Oh, okay. It was just in the 2600 version, which was a uh, creative I addition. finished... I did better on Expert than I did <laughs> the first did. time. You didn't even die, did you? No, I wow. don't think I did. Whoa, that was close. But smart to get the top ones, because there's a bombardment of death at the top. And you don't have to wait for him, you said, normally? Uh, For the snake, you don't. You can do it any time, and he'll just jump off the edge. It was just the 2600 version that he changed it that you, that the snake will follow you to the top. Oh my God! Oh, some good moves there. Nice, go on. I think you can finish it. Get down there. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, okay. Oh! Oh, well, at least I got killed by the red ball. Nice Cubert clone. Ball. Oh, I don't know about that first time chat from viewer. That looks like spam. Ugh, can't do it. The window's too small. I'm gonna have to ban him there. Oh, what? It's already suspended. What the hell? Where? Oh, somebody else banned him because he was they were spamming in a different chat, that's why. Okay. Well, problem take care of. Thank oh. you. Thank you, other Twitch stream. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're done. Good job. Still yes. playing expert. Yes. I'm an expert. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that was close. Uh Bonk supports one or two players. You can play alone or with a friend. Oh, does it actually use two joysticks? We'll have to find out. Oh my god, look at that red ball go down. Oh my god, that's deadly. Oh no, that was just my hand slipping on the joystick. Yep. I'm not even, like... <laughs> Blaming it. I saw it, it slipped off. It was real. Oh! oh that was me being uh, making poor decisions. Yep. Poor life decisions. My turn! Oh. I'm gonna just, oh, just, yeah. just any, any old one. You got to go to end. Yeah, but there it, it acts like. Oh yeah, it's Hubert. like. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very clever and also annoying. <laughs> it is. Oh my god. That's not what I meant to. Do. Can I reset. What'd you do? There we go. I I press the button and I didn't get to choose what level. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go for normal. Should we go two players? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, it's so slow on this version. Yes. Which is a little annoying. But I don't know. I actually thought the Atari one... I thought, wow, this is really fast. That's why I thought about the Atari one. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know if... I think this feels like what I, not that I remember super well, yeah. Hubert, but this feels more like measured like that. Uh, the slowness? Yeah. Hmm. I don't, does anybody know the arcade? Well, how we'll slow look the up a is? YouTube of it. Yeah. Uh, after. Because it seems like Because I was, because <laughs> like when we were playing last time, I was like, wow, I can really just like hop, hop, hop and 
it's like it's not even challenging. Oh it's not, when I say not challenging, what I mean is it wasn't. It wasn't like oh no, if I make any mistakes, the monsters will get me because I'm so slow to you know mm. move. It was like no, I can zip wave quicker than the monster can. That's how it felt in the one. Yeah. Whereas on this, it feels like you're just a you're just a little faster or just the same or something. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. One of those. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, you jumped off the end. N very not intentional. Don't jump off the end. Oh. Yeah, you gotta stay. Helpful you gotta stay on the, the cubes, <laughs> the little pyramid cubes. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's where I went wrong. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here comes sideways, buddies. Yeah. It's oh like my wrapping my head around how they move. <laughs> they move the same as everybody else. They just treat that corner as the top. Yes. But it's they, hard to like. They live in a different gravity dimension. Zone. Yeah. They are. They're dimensionally annoying. douchey. Yeah. They are. Oh my god. Dimension douche. They are trouble. So do you have to be close, or it will always jump off, no matter how far away you are? I can test that. Oh. I want that green ball. I'm not gonna get it. Um. I don't know. I can test it now, actually. Yeah. No, oh, no, he's no, not even a... He wasn't a snake yet. Oh, no, he's now. No. Oh, that was way too That early. was the last one, and then you were eaten by ah. a sideways different dimension, dude! I died testing something. That's the best way to die. Well, the best way to die is to successfully test it. Okay, now we're going to play two players. <laughs> you can be first player. Oh, good. Oh, there we go. So switch it to two players. No. no I, hey, <laughs> do not blame me. I pressed the button one time. True. Very true. You can set it to whatever level you like. You want expert? Yeah. Sure. Thumbs up from Jedekiah. <laughs> or Jedekiah? Jedekiah? Jedekiah. So we're we playing simultaneously. No, player one. Okay. Oh, no. I do not approve. I'm hearing lots of clicking, but no moving. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is the... Why are, Why is this... Why make a mode that is this type of two-player? doesn't make any <laughs> sense. What is the point? Uh, so you can trade back and forth, get a break? It's so that from playing? it's easier for, for mom and dad to say, go play the game together. Yeah. Because then you're, you're forced by the game to... Uh, <laughs> to play. To play fair. Yeah. Have turns. Uh -oh. oh yeah, of course. Oh my god. Let's get out of this area. Oh god. Went down the wrong way. You didn't go to the disc? Very true. Totally forgot. See? You get better than I am at this. Hubert expert. <laughs> this is a very okay, good... Okay, I'm testing it now. Yes. Oh, oh, it oh no. He just kind of yeah. gets lost. He, he does was... exactly what you would expect him to do. There you go. Which See, is like, go, wait a minute. There's I'm, not, I'm not a lemming. <laughs> like, he didn't even go after you at the top. He didn't go after you on the side. He was just like, yeah, Hubert's gone. It's all cool. It's my place now. But it is a very, um, very faithful to oh, the oh. look of Cubert. That's for I sure. I thought I had this, and I did not have this. Far I was so far. not how I have this. You didn't. You didn't have it. Mm -mm. I had it not. So does it go to you? No. Oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. It's funny when your deadly. brain knows that you're about to do the thing that's going to kill you. You haven't quite done it yet, but your brain has figured it out, and your hands are like, go for it! Well far ahead, <laughs> yes. That's all there is for you, purple snake man thing. <laughs> spranga, spranga. Ah! Top is deadly. Actually, it might be even a better strategy to not to do the top, and then... Because you're going to be forced on one of those um, saving wheels. Oh. Oh, right into it. Yeah, it's true. So that'd be a good tactic on the higher levels, anyway. Yeah, I think generally speaking, you are correct. Unless hopping on the 
unless the disc. Oh. Put in your name. Unless the disc. Bye bye. Hopping off the disc might not do it. In which case, you might as well do it right away because you're right there, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, it is expert mode. True. Hoppy it hops! It should be hard. Mm -hmm. I do like that expert mode is not actually insane right it's, off the bat. It's like, it's playable. It is. I know many people, most people, in fact, would probably disagree with me. That it's playable? <laughs> no, it's, that if it's in a hard mode, it should be like hard, super mm, hard from the beginning. But mm, It should ramp up a bit. But it, it's, it suits my ego that <laughs> I was able to play. Yeah, you did very well. <laughs> okay. Um, since we Your played... ranking is two. Um, yeah. It's empty. So I think we played everything on this. And we played Qbert quite a bit last week. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get the idea. It is good. It's a good Qbert uh, for the 7800, so... Um, you can get that uh, in the store. Oh, the game. can you look up a video yes. of the speed? Because I'm yes. curious. It just felt so... It feels slow. But it, it felt sluggish. it felt like... It felt... It felt like what I expected it to be and was surprised that it wasn't last time. Yeah. Okay. It was definitely slow and sluggish compared to the 2600 one, no question. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Qbert Arcade. Let's take a look. Qbert Arcade. So, we did have it up. So, I'll suck it back to the beginning. Go show uh, YouTube. 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 So there we go. Level one. See, there's it. It might. That's way faster. Not way faster, but it is faster. It's faster, but it's more like this. The one we just played is like this more than it's like the the twenty six hundred one. The twenty six hundred one felt like you were just like hop 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 hop. It was hop. very fast, yeah. Yeah, but you're right. The one we were playing was slower than this for sure. Unless they're saying the expert mode is the arcade, which it does look like equivalent death is to the arcade, like the speed and everything and the amount of balls. Probably level two would be a better judge on saying. Hmm. Expert's a little bit harder. No, well, maybe not. I would say expert's close to the arcade. This looks like... This looks like... Yeah. This looks like what we were playing. Yeah. yeah. It looks really hard. Yeah. Like, there's 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 two walls all the time and a snake. And James jumps off the end at the bottom. <laughs> so he's oh, just sorry, just... that guy did. I, sorry, I didn't mean James. <laughs> that I don't mean that. I did not. I did not. <laughs> Um, so the next up we're playing is Armor Attack 2 by Bob De Crescenzo, a Pac-Man Plus. It's from 2013. This is a two-player simultaneous game. Um, he's made a million games. Uh, I will not list them off today. Um, actually, uh, let's... Uh, I already... Uh, Vitoko, I kicked... I actually didn't kick that guy out. He was spamming multiple places and got kicked out by somebody else. The animation in Bonk doesn't seem as smooth. Mm, I'd have to compare them. I didn't see any lacking animation, but the 2600 animation is really, really good. Um, okay, so this was actually originally an arcade game. Um, for, from, let me read about it as I play it on the screen for you. Oh, I see. This is like a Vectrexy game. Yeah, it was a vector game. Uh, Armor Attack is a multi-directional shooter designed by, designed by Tim Skelly and released in the arcades by Cinematronics in 1980. It was licensed... That's, that's pretty great that, like, the, uh... Looks awesome. Yeah, like, like the they, they've replicated the, the vector graphics uh, well enough. 
Mm-hmm. Like quite, I, like I think they did. Well, a this great is the job. arcade. I think they did. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the. Arcade. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, they did such a good job of replicating. That. <laughs> it's so good. Um, I'm so dumb. It was licensed to Sega in Japan. The vector graphics of Armor Attack present combat between the player's jeep and enemy vehicles in an overhead maze-like view of a town. The buildings are not drawn in the game, but an overlay that sits on top yeah, of the yeah. monitor. That's why it looks kind of drawn. Yeah, yeah. Um, the overlay also tints the vectors green. So the original was white, I guess, and it gave a little, gave some greenness. Army just, green. Just, uh, just a, something to point out. If, uh, if Jeeps could blow up anything on the field, the only thing we'd put on the field <laughs> is Jeeps. Because they're cheap, they're fast. And if your tank doesn't pr- protect you from, <laughs> from Jeeps, then there's no point in having a tank. What could you mount on a Jeep that could take out a tank? Yeah, uh, like a rocket. Yeah, they do yeah, it. They, they do could. have. They do have stuff. Yeah. So it could. Because a tow missile is like a, the infantry can have a tow missile and that'll blow up a tank. Yeah. And the the fun thing with that is. So that why didn't they do that? Why they're laser they guided, right? Like they're laser guided. They're they're wire. They have a wire on them, right? So like they fire off and they have this like this filament tether that goes behind them. I think okay. tow missiles are like that. Yeah. They definitely have missiles that are. I'm pretty sure tow are. And you have a laser and you point at the target and if you point at the missile, it just goes straight up. <laughs> so you point at the missile, it goes up, and then you point at the tank, and it comes right down on top of the tank. What? And then, the, like, tanks don't really have armor on the top. Oh. Not like the front. Yeah. Like, the front is like... like. Oh. Yeah. Well, wouldn't they now put armor on the top? Or it's just... No, like... the reason they don't have uh, armor on the top is because you need the tank to be able to move, and you can't have it maximum armor everywhere. Oh. And yeah. if you're fighting a tank... You you can position yourself so that you can shoot down from above, and that's a great thing to do. Yeah. Uh, but like on a hill, mountain, whatever. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Yeah. Um. So let's get to the game. Boom. Boom. Yeah, like Panthers, which were you know like one of the uh, more celebrated tanks. Yeah. Um. They had amazing front armor, like uh, amazing front armor. Yeah. Like better than a tiger. Um, but from the side, they were, I think, they weren't. They were like a, a Sherman, from the side. Uh, in terms of armor, or looking? yeah, like a Sherman, a Sherman tank's side armor was, like a, a Panther, basically, more or less. Yeah. I think. And you just never show the enemy your side. <laughs> just right? head on. You do it at range. Okay. You shoot them at range. You stay as far as you can, and then well, you can control what they shoot at. Yeah. If you have a longer range, this does enemy. not look like the original. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks like a seventy-eight hundred version of it. Um, two thousand thirteen. They did not do as good of a job on this version than the last one of <laughs> replicating the vector graphics. That's very true. <laughs> um. Oh. Oh, I didn't even show everyone. Sorry, it's not on the screen. I reload it. Oh no! There you go. Okay, now just try to remember the things I said, the comments I made, and just like replay them in your head, because I don't want to have to repeat it. It was also, it, I think it was only released on the Vectrex. Uh, Armor attack. Uh, and that does, I mean, it's perfect obviously. for the Vectrex because yeah. it's a vector game. Yeah, yeah. And it has an overlay. <laughs> Uh, their so overlay good. was kind of orange. Orange and yellow, which was kind of weird. A little bit of green. No, they're Very simulating cool. green anyway. Very cool. Yep. Um, when you when you get your RGB set up on your Vectrex. <laughs> that's right. It'll be weird. But um, okay, so go for go for it. Go for easy. Easy. Alright. Oh I have to use to, how do I move? Um, I can go forward and turn. Oh, oh I see. For, one's for accelerate and one's for fire. No, it's that. Uh, uh, oh, you took them both out. Uh, nice. You push forward to go forward. Oh, okay. And you turn. It's like driving a car. Forward for forward and left and right? Well, it's like driving a car in that you have acceleration <laughs> and uh, steering. And steering. You only have two. There you go. 
So I uh, posted originally uh, March 30th, 2013. Hi guys, I've been working on this in between Bentley issues. I'm almost ready to post a bin, but I need to work on the tank movement. Oh, and there's, uh, there's, um, what do you call it, uh, inertia. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you slow down. You have to accelerate. No! Well, at least I took him with me. And what were you thinking, tank? You can't compete with the jeep. And that's why infantry carry the javelin to kill incoming tanks. The javelin attack from the top also. So, uh, Jedekai says. No! He drove <laughs> over me! <laughs> um, yeah, tanks can throw, drive over you. <laughs> no, you got too close to them. Yeah, I, sorry, did you... Did you forget that I'm bad at video games? Oh. <laughs> if it's not a mouse and a keyboard, it's a even then. Time. Even then. <laughs> oh, different playfield. No, it's uh, that's oh. the demo. Okay. Now medium level difficulty because oh, that was too easy for me. Yeah. Um, it says I may call it armor attack two because of the following changes: scores and lives move to the top of the screen instead of in between levels. <laughs> Get aim! I got points, though. I got a, some points. A I got a non-zero number of points. <laughs> Yay! 330. Um, a set number of tanks that need to be destroyed before a level is complete, and that number grows as you advance. Oh, you're getting cornered. Ah! ah die! Got run over. Much later on in the levels, a second helicopter comes out to arrest you. As you can see, I have mastered the controls of this game. Oh, yeah. So I'm surprised that I've been able to kill the helicopters most of the time. They seem like the toughest ones. But actually what it is is that if you follow the lame strategy I have of... Um... Oh, that tank's hiding. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> and he's not doing anything. If you, if you follow the lame... Oh, Darcy disable strategy... it. One hit for disable. Uh oh If you follow the lame strategy of just sitting still and shooting, <laughs> the helicopter's easier to kill because it comes into your shooting range quicker. True. Whereas the tanks are all like, we're going to move really slow, and yeah, yeah, you're right, disabled. Oh, that's cool. Does it disable its gun, too? It does. You have to just finish it off. It's like no! putting it out of its misery. Mazes are randomly chosen at the beginning of the level. Um, if I decide to call it an armor attack anyway, I'll have a selection where you start with three tank enemies. No end level indicator. You only get one maze and only one helicopter. Oh, because in the arcade it was an overlay, they couldn't change the maze. Oh, that's interesting. So is, yeah, that is interesting. Oh, it's still on bonk. Sorry. No, no, no! No! You all die. I live. Uh oh. They're Don't you understand you. the rules? Okay, so I'm going to get you to read out information about it. Actually, no, here's the... I actually printed it out. There you go. So Look, you used color ink. I did. I'm forced to. Actually, I could change it to black and white, I guess. Yeah. But <laughs> why? You're forced to? Yeah. All right, getting started. Uh, did you read any of this? None of it. None, None of, of it. it. None of it. None of it. None of it. So that's like half <laughs> of the former Northwest Territory? That's right. So I've, I've read half of the former West no Northwest Territory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, getting started. Insert the Armor Attack 2 cartridge into your Atari no, 7800 Pro no, System. No, don't read those. As, an ex as explained in your owner's manual, <laughs> and turn on your console. In that order. I didn't say the in that order, but I want you to know oh what they mean. It wasn't me. Do these tanks have infinite... Uh, Armor? Yeah. No, like, they're able to aim anywhere? Or do they have set directions? Because that guy just targeted me perfectly. Uh, I think that their turrets do seem to have slightly more than... Well, I don't know if they have only the, the uh, eight directions. But that helicopter is easier to kill. <laughs> yeah, because he moves... Ah... Uh. No, I think they have oh, the same as you. They can shoot when they're disabled. They just can't move. Uh, well, then I'll sneak up behind you. Also, when you when you disable them, you then have to shoot. You can't shoot them in the oh, same God. spot that you disabled them. Oh, uh, yeah. You have to then shoot them in the, the body or something. Because then you just shoot Because you can disable them by hitting the tracks. 
Yes. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, got him. Okay, so we're st back to getting started. Plug a joystick controller no. into the left. <laughs> no, you want me to skip that? Okay, fine. You want. We'll, go, we'll go right to helpful hints. <laughs> okay. Only one. Keep moving. If you stay in one place, you will be killed. Yes. That's it. <laughs> That's the helpful hints. Thanks, okay, Bob. well, I'll, I'll skip getting started and I'll go to playing the game. Right. Armor Attack 2 is a continuation of the exciting and addictive game made by Cinematronics in 1980. Like the original, this is a, this is a one- or two-player battle action game where your jeeps, equipped with rocket launchers, defend war-torn landscapes with 16 different terrains that are randomly chosen at the beginning of each level. 16. The play field is a top view of cities with road and building areas defined. Uh, defined. Players, jeeps, and enemies, tanks, can only maneuver on the roads. However, the enemy helicopter can go over buildings and roads. No shots by anything can go through through buildings, as they are only valid over road areas. Oh, the shots are only valid over road areas, not the buildings. The buildings are only valid over road areas. <laughs> they are very valid over road areas. <laughs> Debris left by the tanks is sometimes destructive, so make sure to shoot them from a safe distance. Ah. So it says debris left by tanks. I think it means the explosions. Uh. Oh. Okay. Like when it explodes, not it, the not the debris, tank. but the uh, explosions. But the explosion they make when they explode. This tank, this jeep has no reverse gear. Nope. Mm. I was trying to use it. It was like, oh, that would be useful, but it has no. Oh, reverse it would be like useful, super useful. Yeah. Like, like, to, uh, like totes useful. Me. Oh, they can see through walls. They know where you're you're coming. That I guess is that's fair. cheaty, cheaty. No, because you can too. That's that's true. <laughs> they have. Uh, I eyes. did feel like outraged for a quarter of a second. They have eyes in the sky. <laughs> yeah. Level uh, two cleared on easy. Canada jokes, the worst kind. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Uh, the object is to accumulate as much money as possible. Sorry, ah. uh, accumulate the maximum number of points possible. In a two-player game, both players play simultaneously and neither can shoot the other. Oh. The players must avoid being shot or run over by the enemy tanks and avoid being shot by the helicopter. If a player shoots a helicopter, the bonus level ah. is incremented by 10 points. Ah. When the fifth helicopter is destroyed, an extra jeep is awarded to the player who shot the helicopter the fifth time. Oh, what? That, fifth time? Uh, let's see. Bonus levels, plus 10, plus 20, plus 30, plus 40, extra jeep, and reset to zero. The player's turn is over when he, she gets shot by the tank or helicopter. In a two-player game, the level does not reset, and the player does not oh. return if he, she has any lives left, until both players are shot. Hmm. Oh, they can shoot each other. <laughs> They're so <laughs> stupid. Come on, shoot the other guy. Oh, God. Playing around and I got shot. If a player shoots a tank once, there's a time limit to shoot the turret. If a player does not then shoot the turret, it will explode automatically and no points will be awarded. Oh. Emphasis mine. So that tank's gonna explode soon. Oh, mm -hmm. there it goes. <laughs> I couldn't get to it in time to put it out of its misery. Skill levels. Each skill level starts the player at a different point at different points in the game, including the player's score. Each skill level starts the player at different points in the game, including the player's score. Weird. So On the easy skill level, there are fewer tanks, they don't shoot as often, move much slower, the turrets follow you very slowly, and the helicopter doesn't shoot often. The normal skill level is for players who are familiar with the game and features a good balance of difficulty and challenge. On the hard skill level, there are many more tanks required to complete a com Required to complete a level, they shoot much more often, move quickly, the turrets follow you immediately, and the helicopter shoots much more often as well. If you are able to get through a few of the more difficult levels, a second helicopter is brought out to further hinder you. Switching the joystick type. You can use the original CX40 controllers or the 7800 Proline controllers with this game cartridge. No, don't do that. No, I because they don't work anymore? Highly not recommended. Do they, do they no. not work? No, they're good. They work? It's only the 5200 ones that are trash. So, the 7800 ones are just pain on your wrists. Oh, I see. And same with the CX40s. They're terrible. For each respective player, slide the difficulty switch to the left to use 7800 port line joysticks. Pro line. Pro line. Or and pain line, if you want to call it. And, <laughs> slight, and slight the difficulty switch to the right. It slight does it. say slight. It does. It's not just me. <laughs> so insult It's not it. a slip of my tongue. It's a slip of their keyboard. So insult the... the, uh... slight, the <laughs> yeah, slight the difficulty switch to the right. Difficulty. You sucks. Uh, sorry. You are 
difficult to turn. <laughs> switch, because that's a slight, right? It is a, a minor it, slight. Just, but saying that you're a douchebag isn't a slight. No, is it? no, no, no. That's too harsh. That's too harsh. That's well, it's more too than generic. A slight. A, a slight. What is a slight? Um, you know, a not so nice comment. But is it like an untrue comment? I wouldn't say it would be untrue. It doesn't have to be untrue. Well, if you say if somebody is a uh, a difficult switch to turn and you call them a difficult switch to turn is that a slight or is that you just telling them the truth depends how you say it maybe i don't know <laughs> okay uh anyways uh so you slide it the difficulty switch to the right to use cx40 joysticks oh, do you remember what i was talking about you know what that's what, what the setting we're on because in this other setting it should. Um, one of the buttons should be accelerate now. There we go. Oh. I don't know if that's better or worse. Better. Yeah. Probably better. Because now you can turn the joystick to, to turn. <laughs> yes. Instead of. Yes. Instead of what? What do I? What the? Who? Ha! Ah, who? Who? Okay. Like that. Let's do it. Play two players. But what about the rules? There's scoring left. We don't know what the score is. Shoot everything. Oh no! With two players. Not hard to. No. No. It's too bad. You just gotta suck it up, Mister. So. Oh, I have to switch mine. Over. Ugh. Mine is not working. For this acceleration. It's, and that's why you're still alive. What is... The second player doesn't get that option? The button? Press the button to move forward? Yeah. No, they both fire. So, oh, just a sec. Uh, so, for each respective player, slide the difficulty switch to the left to use 7800 Pro Line joysticks and to the right to use CX40. Yeah, both on the left now. And mine is not cooperating. Eh, I think that's I think that's gotta be you somewhere in Okay, set it too easy, please. No! No! Please stop pressing button. Easy. No, you can only do Oh there we go. Okay. Now I have Oh it's working! You have to do it before the game starts. A little weird, but it makes sense. Makes sense. Helicopter, stop it! It is funny that the the helicopter. It's not funny. Where are you? I'm dead. I died. Oh. I ran into something. It's, uh, the helicopter is like not unexpected. So hard to hit. It's all over the place. But it used to be easy to hit. Yeah. Hmm. You're gonna die now. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. You're about to be shot. You're about to be shot! Don't be shot! Run! Run, 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 run! <laughs> I was getting cornered. Oh, good job making a liar of me. That's the kind of liar <laughs> I like to be made of. <laughs> when uh, something's bad. Oh, he's disabled. Ah! There we go. Okay, retreat. I think my shots go all the way across the screen, and theirs do not. Oh, where did theirs stop? When they hit a wall? No. Nice. Now you are back alive. Esther Mayor says, I need to pick up Armor Attack 2. It's pretty damn good, especially with two players. Pretty damn good. I almost got hit by that helicopter. Oh, we're in quadrants. It's wide open field, which is good and bad. Makes it easy to get around. Oh, you're... I totally rammed that tank. That, that strategy does not work. <laughs> no. It has no effect if a Jeep hits a tank. Jeep just it is smush. It is something to get used to. The whole like some angles cannot be fired upon. Yeah. Ah, you're in the open. It does not help because <laughs> that angle is not valid. Ah! I got treaded. Oh, did I just run into you? Die! Helicopter. 
Yeah! Level two cleared! <laughs> what? Oh, random. Okay. What's random? The... Like, we're back at the same map. I mean, it's a good map. It's the same one. Same one as last round. Oh, we're both the same color. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him. Someone killed me. Oh, the helicopter got me. I imagine it was some sort of tank or enemy of some sort. That hey, got you? That you don't, me. Know, don't know what killed you? Oh, you're in a pit of pain. Ah! Oh, I get killed. The Toko likes CX-40s. What do you like about the CX-40s? Their stiffness? Boom! Their s <laughs> small handle that gives you cramps trying to hold it after 10 minutes? Um, I mean, they do work forever. So that's one plus. Ah, 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 ah! The game is over. Twitch has a software and game dev category now. Hope to find 6502 assembly streams in there. Oh, very cool. Scoring! <laughs> the number at the top left of the screen is the current score for player one. And the number at the top right of the screen is the current score for player two. 20 points is scored for hitting the body of the tank, first hit. 30 points is scored for hitting the turret, second hit. Also, the bonus level is also awarded for hitting the turrets. The bonus level of zero to 40 points is determined by the number of helicopters destroyed. Oh, okay. So when you kill a helicopter, yeah. it raises the bonus, and then when you blow up a turret, you get more points. A tank. Per, per turret. Per having, uh, for, uh, so basically it's like this. You blow up helicopters. Yeah. If you blow up four of them, you have a plus 40%, a 40 point bonus for blowing up a, a tank turret. But oh. if you, if you blow up a fifth helicopter, you get an extra player. Oh. So, but then it resets the bonus okay. to zero. Oh, okay. So you are trading uh, bonus for lives. Oh, I'd rather have lives. Yeah, but... Oh, my God. Uh, Especially right now. <laughs> okay. 100 points is scored for shooting, the hel for shooting a helicopter. The bonus level is also incremented by 10 points. Extra turns. You can earn extra jeep every time you destroy the helicopter five times, resetting the bonus level to zero, like I just said. And then you already got the tip. And then this is ah. the back. Can you read it? <laughs> Don't think they can. Maybe. Ah, uh, run, run, tank, run. Oh, run there's team. no auto focus or anything. No, because auto focus is the worst. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So just uh, it always goes in and out. Auto focus. It's terrible. So I just set it to us on the couch. I would like to have auto focus, but it misbehaves constantly. Then I can show things in the camera. Okay. I'm on medium now. Helicopters are fairly easy to kill. Uh, the tanks are the hard ones. No! Because the, the helicopters go right for you. One thing that would be extra uh, life would have been helpful is if you could see the bonus, like what level of bonus you're on. Yes, like a little dot or something. Um, let's recenter myself so I can take out these tanks. There we go. Nice, three you tanks must in be, a row. And I think you must be on a high bonus because you didn't get. You just killed a. Uh, okay, so you must be on. Fire! What is happening? Nobody knows. <laughs> you still didn't get an extra person. I have been getting but some. Maybe you can only have four? Oh, maybe. Oh, nope. no, you just got Five. one. That was your fifth. So your bonus is zero now. Oh, God. <laughs> now you're back to four. <laughs> back to four. Getting extra lives is fairly easy in this with the so many helicopters coming out. It's the shoot the helicopter game. Yeah, just rack up the lives. Oh, no more helicopters. 
Ah. Ah. Rack up the deaths. Oh, nobody's offered to feed the cats. Um, there's a bonus. Uh, you can use your uh, channel points, which you get for free, uh, to put a little indicator on the screen to feed the cats. It's in the, it's in the points. It's in the bites on the lower left. If you'd like to use them, and we will feed the cats with treat time. I'm sure they'd be love it, wouldn't you, Atari? He's like, yeah. He's like lying at the door waiting for it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different true. crowd that hasn't seen uh, that yet. Just added that uh, two episodes ago. Extra life. It's uh, labeled treat time. Shoot the chopper. Shoot the chopper. Get to and shoot the chopper. Seems like a long level. Oh, they're shooting each other. Uh, run! Oh, they're shooting each other. <laughs> I mean, it keeps you alive, but you don't get points when they shoot each other. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. Or at least... I wouldn't expect them to, because when they blow up on their own, you don't get points. Even the levels, though you're the one that caused it by shooting them in the tracks. The levels are cleared through oh, damn it. the number of tanks you kill, right? I think so, yeah. I was going to if I saw them both on cat cam, then realize I did it last time. And somebody else might <laughs> want to do it for a change. Yeah, RC-70 <laughs> does, did it twice last time. I don't know how long you have to wait you could, you for could. other people to do it. I don't know. It's taking a while. Nobody's it's like, volunteering. It's like when you when someone buys ice cream and you're not allowed to eat it. No, <laughs> analogy is bad. <laughs> Stop right there with that analogy. <laughs> oh! It's like when I buy ice cream. Yeah. And it's in theory for sharesies. Yeah. And... I feel guilty eating all of it, but other people ruin it by refusing to eat any of the ice cream. <laughs> you can't I don't even eat ice cream anymore. You can't even enjoy it on your own. Oh, I'm down oh my he last got shot. Guy. Last guy. You could trigger it. Trigger what? The cat. Treat time on your no. phone. No, You're I'm going to wait for someone else to do it. Okay. Maybe they don't know how. So we've never used channel points in this show before. This time. Try it. What do I do? What is this? You go down to the bottom left. You have. Thing, you no? don't have enough, actually. Maybe I should lower it. Maybe it's just because RC70 has so many channel points. How many channel points? Tree time, it... 5K. Okay, yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> you I don't, don't sit watching Because watch I'm not on enough. the show long enough. You know? Yeah. That's it. My phone is staying open and uh, here for Until all time. enough points. No, okay, so let's play. Two player again on uh, hard. Five, four, RC70 is going to do it. <laughs> Go on, somebody else step up. <laughs> Trigger that points. Set it to two player hard. Two, one. Is this guy comfortable comes. though? Let's see what happens. Done it. Nope. I have 98,000 points, but it says tree time's not available. Well, because you reached one and uh, RC70's done it, maybe. Out of stock, it says. What the? What? What? How is it out of stock? How is that even a thing? I don't know. Let me just check. I don't know if that's a good that's time thing for you to do, because, like, you're going to die, because we're on just, hard mode. That's why and, nobody's doing it. And then I died. <laughs> What? Ship shortage? <laughs> Ship shortage. Tree <laughs> shortage. It's definitely. Yeah. It's enabled. It just it makes me sad that my playing the game 
was a more deadly experience than your not playing the game. <laughs> How can it be out? This doesn't even make sense. The chip shortage. Can I trigger it? No, I can't because it says it's out. Out of stock. I see. Let's see. Edit it. One hours. Links. Limit. 99 per stream. 99 per user per stream. The Bitbucket is full. My Bitbucket? <laughs> I think you may be just like... Uh, not troubleshooting, but making jokes. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, yep. I have. Sometimes I am not helpful. <laughs> I have no idea. That's why nobody's doing it. It's broken right now? Okay. Okay, restart. What? I'm doing so good! Nope. I had 890 points! It bucket's full. Okay, press button. I'm blue. Darcy is yellow. Well, yeah, I guess you can call that yellow. You can, like, the word yellow. green. <laughs> yellow. yellow green. Yellow. Uh, no, oh, I, God. Run ready. I definitely have a green bias, so... Uh, <laughs> green bias? Let's not pretend that I don't. Well, you're... Ah! No! Oh, oh I'm back. I was going to look it up. Can somebody look up? Uh, out of stock. I'm, I'm not even shooting this game. I'm just going to try and learn how to drive. <laughs> That's a good skill to have. Oh, did you die? <laughs> Maybe you're actually out of treats and twitched nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have some treats left. Have some treats left. Ah, uh, no, he ran into me. Damn it. I'm terrible. Need some helicopters. Oh my god. No, run away, run away, run away, run away! Run away. <laughs> yes, run away. So, streamers have the option to add redeem it, redemption limits for rewards. The reward may be out of stock since the max number of redemptions per stream is reached. I set it to 99. Or, or the streamer has set a per user limit on a reward and you've already claimed the maximum. Which is also counts. 99. Also, if you see a counter, this means the reward won't be claimable until the timer runs out. No counter. Did, so Maybe somebody used it and we didn't see? Uh, How would we know? The, there would be a timer because it's only once an hour. Because oh. he, he will get fat. But did somebody, like... Within an hour ago, press the button and we didn't notice? No. Nope. How would we know? Uh, well, you wouldn't. We would know that because there's a timer still counting down. So I've oh. disabled it and enabled it again. So try it again. Oh, it says I still don't have enough, but it uh, doesn't say disable. Let's see. I think, it's, I think it might say it still say out of stock, but I can't tell because. Font is very small in my eyes. I am very young, but my eyes are old. Maybe it's treat time in another channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's treat time. Yum, 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 oh. yum. Look at that face. Oh, oh it's treat time. You, you, you get trained real quick, huh? Treat time. You gotta press it, buddy. Press it. He touched it, but he didn't press it. You gotta whack it. Give it a whack. Are you too sleepy? Oh. There oh, you go. Good kitty. Go. All your due diligence. So I had to turn it off and turn it back on again for some reason. That's not right. Hey, Trey guy. Pixel. You want another one? No, you have to ring it. There you go. <laughs> he is a little bit sleepy. <laughs> He's moving hungry? real slow. Uh, I'm hungry too. Good kitty. <laughs> there you go. Pixel. Pixel's not as into food. <laughs> That's Atari, as you can see. By Atari's spelt uh, body. <laughs> <laughs> no cat shaming. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure that... 
Well, the cat was not shamed because the cat does not speak human language. No. And therefore, Treat didn't time. feel any shame. Also, probably wouldn't care anyways. No. It's hard like, to say eh. for sure. Fat and proud. I don't know. Cats can be, uh, That's can your be last shamed. One. They can feel ashamed. When they Better when grab they that bell up. if you want to be the last one. You don't want to violate the Oh, Pixel's the rules like of the in agreement. the hallway. You get one just because you're nearby. If you can get it. <laughs> Did he know? He saw it go, but he didn't go for it. Get that one. Oh my god. Atari's getting all of them. Of course Pixel's he is. just like, yeah. Pixel is too cool for school. He's like, no, I'm not going to like try. Three times done for another hour. What and... if I try and it doesn't work? I will look like an idiot. <laughs> that's that's Pixel's. Uh, and I, I can I can, uh, I can can understand that. All gone. It's all gone. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. So, one more. And then we're done. I'm blue, Darcy's yellow green. Oh, uh, you got it. I did. I thought it was destroying you for it a second. Was, uh, thinking about it. It was dreaming about it. Look at that. It's three in a row. I just need to move over a little bit. Boom. Boom! And hope Boom! I hope they don't sausage you. Yeah, they were about to sausage you. What? You got, you got oh. hella, hella sausage. I did. There is a weird thing where I'll press the button to accelerate, and yeah. then it won't accelerate. <laughs> okay. And then it will go crazy. And then, <laughs> like, I'll oh. rock it off like, like I've got nitrous. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like it's saving it up. There. Oh. Weird. Was it because you were against a wall? Yep. Uh, but the thing is that it saves it up. <laughs> it does? Yeah. It's oh, like, I like normally when you accelerate, oh, it goes, but here it goes. Okay. Play again. I want to see that. that uh, okay. We're against a wall. And... Oh, it does. <laughs> because you're... You're already accelerated. It's just that you're touching the wall. It's Yeah. It's like your tires right, are but... spinning. Yeah. And then you break loose. <laughs> It's like you're, it's like you're playing plane pit stop or something. Yeah. It's like you're revving up the engine. So watch this. Let me go. And boom! I don't know if that's useful at all, but it's interesting. <laughs> oh, I got shot? Uh, Who shot me? How could, oh, it tank? might have been the helicopter. Oh. Because the tank wasn't even pointed its gun at me. Oh god! Oh, I ran. You got ran over from I off screen. Ran over. Oh god! Get him! Oh my god! They're coming out to the top constantly. Stay away from the top. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Actually, stay away from the sides because they all come in out of the sides. Good shot, helicopter. I'll say that. You got hella shotted. A hella shotted. Boom! Ah! Run! Helicopter is deadly, because we are playing hard mode. Right? Somehow you got... Somehow you killed the fifth helicopter twice. <laughs> twice? Because you had two more lives than me. Oh! Yeah. Oh, well, maybe I did. Maybe I was going after helicopters. I don't know. They do come out quite frequently. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's opportunity for lots of oh, lives. Oh, uh, it's, it's just that you got... To oh, that's true. Another life the again. fifth one, I guess. It's not that ah! strange. You killed most of the helicopters. Game over. Um. <laughs> explosion. Nose explosion. Take that, shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's review. What have we learned today? Nothing. That's probably true. Uh, so we played Plum Luck and Plum Luck DX. Um, Plumlock DX is a great improvement. Yeah, yeah. Over Plumlock, uh, feels right. Yep. Like placing the tiles down, the the speed of it's really good. Yep. Looks awesome. Big improvement over the Plumlock. Um, 
looking forward to more additions to it because there's some there were some bugs with some of the levels it was like yeah i can't even yeah, yeah yeah but it's still a work in progress so it's good great show today well thank you dan sometimes he says good but it was great today um I glanced at my screen just as the helicopter appeared and I jumped a little, thinking it was a big bug on my screen. <laughs> we learned that treat time needs to be rebooted sometimes. Yeah, I did. we have to babysit treat time. Yeah, apparently. that was weird. But uh, we we only learned that it didn't work. We didn't really find out what was why. wrong. Yeah. yeah. Then we played Bonk, which was a very faithful conversion yep. of the arcade. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. On Expert. It looked awesome. It yep. looked really, really good. Um as far as I like Prime Oh, thank you, Ricardo Pam, for subscribing. 14 months. Yes. Uh, I like Plum Luck DX. Tried it on my Dragonfly while you guys played it. Yes. Yeah, works really well in the Dragonfly. Lucky you have a Dragonfly. They're all gone now. Um, yeah, I would recommend Bonk for sure if you have a 7800 and you like Qbert. It is really, really good. Um, funny, I re received the treat over here. <laughs> you got a treat? We didn't get it. Well, we got some nuts. Did it taste good? Oh, there's some left. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Darcy brings a treat of nuts. Um, then Armor Attack 2. It's my breakfast. Um, pretty good game. Pretty simple. I think it's a lot more fun with two players playing it. I I like the improvements over the arcade where and the and the Vectrex version. Actually, this one no, it's a solid, it's a, I don't know. Let me look at the overlay. They have different overlays. Or do they? Mm. No, it's the same one. Same overlay. Same one, and they And draw. then they have drawn oh, on the okay. inside. Yeah, yeah. I want to look at the overlay anyway, just because I have it out. I don't know if you've ever seen an overlay. Jedi Kai 02. Jedi Kai. Uh, Jedi Kai. Jedi Kai. Jedi Kai. Uh. But there's Jedi in it, so my brain wants it to be Jedi something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jedi says his favorite today was Bonk. It is a good game. So. No. Jedi H2O. H2O. <laughs> What's H02? Hydrogen dioxide. I don't know what that is. So, there's the overlay <clears throat> for a Vectrex armor attack. Oh, you know what? It works it does because have it has it has some building oh. stuff that you could drive over, or when it's bordered, you can't. So it still True. looks like a thinger. Looks like rubble. Maybe. It's that dark. How over. would you see that on your screen, though? Um, it would just be an absence of light coming through it. But isn't that what most of the screen looks like? Dark? Oh, it, because it's, it's green. Oh, I so see. So it will show up because yeah. everything else is green. And also, the drawing... Mm -hmm provides a little bit of kind of light yeah, yeah. as it draws um everybody calls me jedi and that's okay <laughs> um yeah so vectrex is super cool one day we will have a vectrex uh episode um but it's not today because vectrex is super awesome um yeah so that's the games we played today uh, really cool. Some games that are coming up. What is the um, <laughs> the ratio of the Vectrex screen? When it sits like that, it looks like it's widescreen. It's not sideways. quite widescreen, I don't think. So it's not... But it is widescreen. It's not 4x3. Or 3x4x3. Three three. No, it's not. Well, it'll be 3x4. 3x4. Um, no. Oh. Clunk. So, we're going to look at it first for us. Mm, it's very close. It's definitely wide. It's definitely it's a, not a uh, 3x4. Yeah, it's a tiny bit wider than Tarsi's head. Um, <laughs> it's like 5x3, five, five maybe, hmm. let's say. How are you going to capture the Vectrex video? I'm going to point a camera at it. Here's what I'm going to do. I have another camera that I can point at it. Um, and then just do the settings correctly. It seems like... And it should work. It seems I've like... I've seen other people. Well, do. the trick will be, does it capture the... Oh, actually, it, it seems to yeah. me like it'll mostly work like really well with a camera because it's so bright. 
Yeah. You're not going to miss... Like, there's really high... It's really high contrast. And yes. so the camera's not going to be, like... It's not going to be faded. It's, no, it's going to be know. enough light yeah. to capture it. Yeah. Um, it'll, it'll do, the light will dominate the, the, the image, and the not light will, will look... <laughs> like, it might look, like, as black as ever. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I don't and know I, if that's and true. And, that's and you I, can set the camera to any setting. So if it's too bright, you bring it down. If it's not bright enough, you bring it up, and yeah. it, it'll it'll look just like how you see your eyes, yeah. um, approximately. I mean, cameras aren't as good as eyes in some respects. Yeah, and I just, just think it, what I mean though is I think it will work better than most uh, uh, TV images with a oh, camera on them. Like I see. it'll it'll because like of the pop. contrast because of the contrast it'll pop, and because yeah. it's essentially black and white, even though it's not. Yeah, it is essentially it, black it's, and white. It's like it's light or no light. Yeah. It's not even black and white. It's not grayscale. Black and white is grayscale, essentially. Yeah. Right. And this isn't. This is. Yeah, black and white. This is. Scale. This is two colors, on, on or off. Uh, yeah. And that's really like pow. Oh, what, that's what, a real pow. Yeah. What would like, that situation. be? What would be the name for that? Because people think black and white. Oh, it's black and white. That's yeah. not black and yeah. white. Monochrome. That's monochrome. Monochrome. Yes. Yes, because there were monochrome yeah. monitors. It was yeah. literally on or off. Yeah. Yeah. The, the pixel or yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah, that's what all our school monitors were, and yeah, did you, what did you run your uh, Trash eighty through? Was it a TV or was it a? Was it, it was a, trash a TV 80 monitor. I didn't. Uh, oh, just the TV. Never just had a, a monitor. Okay. Never had a monitor. It was a television. Yeah. And TRS eighties were exactly the same monochrome? as you would with the uh, Atari. You know, you had to have the little slider yeah. thing and the like <laughs> the RF. Terrible. Yeah. Um, was were were they monochrome? Or were they black no, and white? They had TRS eighty color computer. Coco. <laughs> it was the TRS eighty. But it was a, it was a it was a trash eighty, but it was a color com. It was it was trash Coco. <laughs> it wasn't the original TSR eighty, which was you know the, the cool built-in built -in monitor with the yeah. disk drives and the built-in keyboard. That's the one that I wanted. That I want. Were you was part of me wants it. Not enough to like go get one though. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be cool as just a thing on a shelf, like to use it. Because uh, it had a membrane keyboard, the original one, or did it have a real keyboard? The... It had a chiclet type keyboard, like a not a. It did mm. not have a. Not the one you... I had, the one, you... the one I had, did not have like a legit. It was like membrane uh, chiclet. It was chi it was a membrane though. It was buttons. Oh, but it they was... were little chiclet square buttons. Square ones that are very individual. Yeah, but there was not like... like a clicky keyboard. And there was plastic they were, they in were between the keys. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same as a lot of European ones, like uh, Sinclair, I think, yeah. I always Carl, thought that that was weird. Like, wouldn't it be easier to, like, source an existing keyboard? Yeah. But I guess... you think so. I guess that wasn't true, because they Jesus, didn't do it that way. My Coco 2 used a TV, but the Coco 3 really needed a monitor for high-res modes. Okay. Yeah, because as soon as you got past a certain point, the TV wasn't high-resolution enough. Because I, it's just 480, right? Yeah, um, but I don't recall it having like I must not have had like whatever mine was. It wasn't a called it was it was a color computer, but it wasn't called Coco. That's the nickname. It was called yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, maybe the three just was different than what I had. Uh, Let's see the resolution of the Coco. We got three. it in the early '80s. Like we had it in like '81 or two or. Uh, the res oh the eighty two yeah. I don't know so the Coco three had a resolution up to six forty by one ninety two oh. so a TV really couldn't handle the six forty by one ninety two I know it's very weird wow that's a, like that's really <laughs> wide right uh that's well, like it would be two, that's like that's like one by three the aspect ratio of pixels oh yeah yeah that's are, right yeah they're are, wider yeah they're taller than they are wide or wider than wider they are than they are wider tall. than they are tall yeah, it's yeah. four by three yeah. um so that's why coco three didn't get a big following it was too late by then mm -hmm. uh yeah i think pcs what? The, that yeah, keyboard 86. is not the keyboard i had that that looks like a legit keyboard yeah let's mine switch was... over you guys can't see it there we go see mine looked like that gray one on but right. i recall it having not a legit keyboard on it like no that, that's, that's a legit keyboard that's a real keyboard yeah uh it was more like no, no that, that is where's the it is possible that my no. brain is faulty what's that yeah that's, that's it the that's, a, that's what i had this like one. keyboards like that yeah oh, it was gray yeah 
But if it had 64K, it definitely would have bragged about it. <laughs> yeah. And I think it did, because I think, it did got, you upgrade I think it? we got the upgrade. That's that's what mine that's looked like. One. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. This is the exact one. Yeah. Yeah. Color computer one, 16K. So 16K base. Yeah. That's yeah. What and then you could yeah. get the little, the little, uh, the little Add-ins. upgrade. Um, uh, RAM. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it, I probably only went up to 64. Uh, where is it? 16. Uh, upgrade to 32. Uh, 32, 32. Hmm. 32. I can only find 32 here, so. Oh, no. Eventually, the 32 memory option was dropped entirely and only 16 or 64. So you, you could have gone up to 64. I don't numbers. remember if we had... I don't. I think we had 32. Because you'd have to run games or things that would take advantage of it. And how many people would make a 64K game back then when most people wouldn't have that upgrade, right? But it wasn't far off the Commodore 64. Although the Commodore 64 used some of its memory for other things, but... Uh, for basic, yeah, yeah. But I think you could overwrite that yeah. and have the full sixty-four if you weren't in basic. Yeah, because the the Trash Eighty also had basic built in. Like, I think I don't think Using you had to load anything for basic. It? I think it was maybe I'm when wrong. When you booted it up, it was basic. Right? I think so. Yeah, you didn't have to load a disc or I don't a recall tape you having a cartridge. To do that. Yeah, because the first Ataris, you had to have a cartridge. Yeah, with basic on it. Yeah. And it didn't come with nothing. It was just a blank computer with nothing in it. Carl G says, yeah, it was built in for sure. Built yeah. in, yeah. Um, but yeah, TRS-80s were one of the f early computers, or the predecessor to TRS-80. I don't know. No, this was the first one. 1980. So that was the first, like, first wave computers, along with, like, the Atari in 79. Atari 400 and 800. I was watching a lot of videos. Yeah. Basic was the OS for those yeah, early yeah. computers. Yeah. It's just I was like I, I had a Commodore sixty four, so when you turned it on, it was just always there. It yeah, was, yeah, and it was the it, same. It was it didn't have like the Commodore sixty four told you stuff at the top of the screen, and then you yes. started down here, and Trash eighty, you, you just got a cursor at the top <laughs> for the. There wasn't as much on the screen, anyways. Yeah, it's like figure it out. I can't remember if it was all, if there was same with the Ataris. It was just opening screen. There wasn't much, anyways. It was either nothing or very little. And then you can get a DOS program for the Ataris I was looking at, uh, and then it had it was like a program, and you could copy pro, copy discs, format discs. It was like a menu. It was pretty cool. For Commodore sixty four, it was like yeah, you figure it out on your own. Here's the command line. Yeah, the thing I remember about like like programming and basic was like you know it had this it had basic in the back of the book that came with the computer and it all made sense it was all completely yeah, understandable straightforward. but yeah. i did not believe that that was i would i thought oh it's too bad that they don't actually have like real program like like there's obviously stuff they're keeping they're holding back <laughs> like there's more <laughs> like there's a lot more to this and this is not useful to like do things what i didn't get is that you really with all that basic stuff you really could do like quite a lot like slowly a lot. yeah yeah because it wasn't like there was language. more but it was yeah and it was the same when we were in high school and we were learning pascal i was like well it's kind of them to like show us the basic <laughs> stuff but obviously that's not enough and but it is <laughs> it was enough to do everything <laughs> it was you enough needed. to do like yeah well yeah the basics yeah, yeah. Uh, I did not believe. Lack of belief has <laughs> held me back. It, so it does many times. seem like just, there was always something more that wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it just then there was, of course, but there wasn't like as much as I thought, you know. Yeah. So coming up on the show, four sixteen thirty two sixty four one twenty eight five twenty. Whoa, five four. That would be four. Yeah. What, it must have been the very early one. Yeah. That had four. Let's see. It's Coco one. Uh, memory sizes of four, yeah, sixteen or thirty-two, right yeah. from the beginning, or maybe four uh, K times one, sixteen K times one. Sixteen. The ones with sixteen K install shipped with standard Microsoft Color Basic. I could not have told you that Microsoft existed. Then. Microsoft did. A, a, that's what they started out as uh, providing Basic huh. to a bunch of companies. So it makes sense that the next step was like DOS. C64 Basic was derived from Microsoft oh, Basic as well. I did not know that at all. Apple, uh, Atari was not. They they redid it. So 
for some reason. Yeah, I guess they didn't want to pay, which makes sense. Have you have you decided that I am the sucker and I make? Oh, I saw a quick glance to the snacks up there. So <laughs> to make sure that they existed. Um, on Tuesday, our next stream, we I might as well show this on the screen at the end. So there we went. There's today, Plum Luck. Uh, Plum Luck DX. So on Tuesday, on the 7th, we're going to do something very different. Um, we're going to be playing 35 games on that day. They are all from Vitoko, who is in the chat today. Mm -hmm. um, he enters into the 10-line game comp competition uh, every year for the past, I don't know, seven years. So he has a bunch of them built up. So it's 10 lines of basic. Uh, oh. Atari Basic. Not 10 commands, like they're all strung together in one big chunky chunk of a program uh, that make up 10 lines. So we are going to set a time limit of five limits, five minutes per game. And when the bell rings, off it goes. And then we start again. And it's uh, Atari 8-bit games. I should put that in there, actually. It's not like they're, you can do basic on... 70, uh, you could do 7800 basic and all the rest, but it is an 8-bit 8 uh, 8-bit day. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing on next Tuesday. Oh, Vitoko, we're going to change the time zone DST this weekend. Oh, boy. Where is that? Oh, it's not here, is it? No, because no. like, they don't change the time. I've always been bitter about this. They don't change the time until like the day after Halloween. <laughs> I remember as a kid being outraged. Like, yeah. oh, chilly, okay. Awesome. Uh, uh, outraged. They could give us an extra hour of dark for Halloween, but no, they hold back. Yeah, you want they the dark. They hold it back. You want the dark it's for like Halloween. It's like the only day of the year that you want it to be dark early so you can go out trick-or-treating. Longer yeah. before bedtime. That's right. Crazy. I always thought that they were just being jerks. And now uh, what I think is that they were definitely just being jerks. <laughs> it's yes. definitely all about keeping me, oppressing me. And then uh, next, uh, the Friday after that, next Friday... Uh, we're going to be playing... Do you remember Bruce Lee on the Commodore 64? Did you play that ever? No. no. Okay. It's super <laughs> awesome. I may have. I may have. It's super awesome. And they just released a uh, new version of the work in progress for that. So we'll be playing that next Friday. And also Invader and maybe a third? Bruce Lee is a pretty big game. It's a lot of levels. So we will see. Um, and then, uh, I don't know what's coming up there. Um, oh, we have some kind of planned ones that we can pop in at any time. Um, and there is, uh, when I get my 5200 upgraded, I'm going to upgrade my four port 5200. It has four joystick inputs and we can play mule. But dun, when dun, 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 when dun, is dun, that dun, one going to happen? Dun, dun, dun. When I upgrade my fifty two hundred, so, so not for a while. There's no date set. No, okay. no date set. Oh, thank you, uh, Jedi Kaya, Jedi Kaya, Jedi Kaya, Jedi Kaya. Um, and of course, February twelfth, twenty twenty two, long time in the future. Fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards presentation, and we've got a new category, which is Atari Lynx, the handheld, Atari handheld. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so uh, that will be new because there's about uh, 20 games so far in 2021 for that. So more than enough to do a, um, a category for that. Daylight Savings ends November 7th here. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm just going to have to tell people to check their local area for time zones pretty soon. Yeah, and ours... It gets crazy. Ours is just before that, I think. Uh, it's like, it's like the first Sunday after Halloween or something. <laughs> uh yeah, which when, is if it was if it was like two Sundays after Halloween, I would be a lot less bitter. In BC, uh, November first, yeah. Sunday, November first. Yeah, so, so that's like the first Sunday after Halloween. Yep. Yeah, so not for a long time. Casey Gold, Casey's Gold looks really good. Yeah, I'm not sure on the time uh, when that's going to happen. Uh, so we'll just keep. I keep in touch with uh, Dan Kitchen, and keep asking him. So he'll he'll let me know when that's ready, and we'll show it on the show. Uh, that is about it for... Wait, that was 2020. Oh, 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 November 7th, So it's actually. the same here, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is November 7th, I think. So it is, that is the first Sunday after Halloween, then. Is Halloween 31st or the 30th? 31st, right? Yeah. It's always 31st. Yeah, so that is the first Sunday after Halloween, yeah. Ah. Yeah, so we're the same here. The first Sunday of November, which they probably 
Well, you could say whatever you want, <laughs> but it's the first Sunday after Halloween. We all know it. It always is. It always is. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks. The beginning of November is not as an important, you know, timestamp as no, Halloween. It means nothing to anyone. That's right. Nobody cares about that. Except for apparently the farmers. I totally thought I'd finished all my coffee and I oh, didn't. Bonus coffee. Oh, it's so good. Thank you for tuning in today. <laughs> Jedekai S. Ramirez, Bucko and Thrust. Uh, Carl G, S. Ramirez, Ricardo Pim, Trey Guy, RC70. Probably said that already. Phaser Cat Games, Vitoko. It's your day next Tuesday, Vitoko. It's all about Vitoko and his games. Uh, Dr. Moo Cows, D Train, Crossbow. Who else? Splendid Nut, the top, Al Nefer. And Drexel, who typed something. No, he subscribed. Great subscribe. show. Have a great weekend, all. You too. Have a great weekend. Uh, it's a long weekend in Canada, at least in BC. What is the... What is the... What? Oh, it's like Labor Day or something. It's always oh. it's the long weekend that comes with the beginning of school. I think it's U.S. as well. Yeah. Labor Day. Labor yeah. Day here. Yeah, so lots of vacations everywhere. So have a good long weekend. It's the long weekend that... Is it that you start school and then you get a long weekend? No. Or is it like the first school starts the day after? Yeah, yeah. Usually the day or even a week after, depending on where you are. You know what? Today, when I was coming here, I was going through a school zone. And then I saw school kids on the side of the road. And I was like, whoa, school has started. Oh, no. And I slowed down. <laughs> you didn't hit had... any of them? Good. That's well, good. No, I didn't. I only hit the, Not intentionally. the expected number that you would hit when well, you, nobody three. told me. Two anyway, so I didn't hit any of them because their parents were there. Uh, and they were big enough for me to notice, and it, I, I didn't want any... No trouble. Yeah. No I didn't want any trouble. trouble. In my town, they started the first from for some dumb reason. Yeah, some start early, some start late. They, I don't know how they figure it out, but they do. Or they just stagger them. Uh, we started school here in Houston by Labor Day, used to signal the start of school. But Labor Day used to start. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's normally that, and then some just go far from that. I mean, like, I'm not sure which week is after, better, week like starting before the holiday or getting an immediate bonus weekend because otherwise it's wasted. Because You is weren't kinda, in school yeah. anyways. You It was a holiday anyways and then... Because it is kind of nice to go to school and then get a long weekend yeah. and then get another week and then Although finish what they a week should early at the end. What they should probably do just in general is you get to school and they beat you <laughs> and they they call you bad names and treat you terrible so that yeah. you get re calloused and re like right off the bat. to like the horror of school as you go through the front door yeah. whack that's right whack yeah. idiot whack yeah. idiot <laughs> yeah and then i guess yeah. they could give you the holiday where you can like you can relax yeah, yeah you can you can heal cry up. It out heal up and yeah. come back with not open wounds but calluses yeah and because then uh, the scars. next time they beat you it won't hurt as much because you've got, you know, built up immunity. Because you're already broken. Yes. <laughs> your will, your body is broken. That's right. Preparing you for real life. That's right. It's what life is like. <laughs> and on that note, have a good long weekend, if you have one. And we will see you back on Tuesday with a whole bunch of 8-bit games. See you then. Bye-bye.